Hey, many fish. It's the 29th of March, 2018. And I have been getting a little busy here lately, so it's things are just rolling along. I saw this yesterday, and it really caught my eye, and I think you'll see why here. They claim his itinerary was leaked, and they claim he saved the best for last. And, and if that means meeting with the likes of Kissinger and Bill and Hillary Clinton, then I don't want to see what his worst is then. You know what I mean? And Schumer and the Secretary General. What, what are these people all meeting about? At the UN, no less? I, I mean, seriously, think about this, folks. There, there's something wrong with this picture. You think they're just like chatting and trying to come up with ways to feed the poor or something? With Bill and Hillary Clinton? This image alone tells a thousand words. <laughs> this guy plays a much bigger part in things than I think most of us think. But anyway, I saw that yesterday, and it kind of just went to the wayside, you know. And But this today, just a little while ago, I come upon this article. And this just came out just a few hours ago. 11.22 a.m., 33. And it's talking about Saudi Arabia and 9-11. Do people remember the 29 pages that were such so contentious about 9-11 for so many years? About Saudi Arabia's part in 9-11? Well, now these lawsuits can go forward because this judge is allowing it. At least now he is. So now we have this prince running around talking to everybody and anybody who's supposedly somebody, right? And we have these lawsuits popping up right now. Seriously? Put out on March 29th, of course, 9-11, 2018, 9-11, at 11:22 for the missing 29 pages. This is just how my mind thinks. And this image is just... Oof. Man, we could go on for days on this. Look at the uh, credit. The credit goes to this guy named Daniel. Remember Daniel from Stormy Daniels and Shark Week? This is all just coming all together here. So his name's Daniel, and look at the judge's name. George Daniels. I mean, this is just nuts. But, you know, once again, it's like all it's doing is telegraphing to us that these things are upon us like right upon us and you want to be spiritually fit and in good standing with the father when everything starts to literally fall apart because it's going to it already is it is manifesting very very rapidly and this isn't an accident i mean really now, I don't want to forget our little, um, remember the little virtual flood we had at the, uh, UN on the 22nd on 322? Remember that? Look at this 6667 views. I'm the 6667th view. <laughs> 33, 34 seconds long. Anyway, you know, this stuff just comes to me, so I simply have to, have to show it to you. It's really, really telegraphing the next 9-11. You know, just to put it in plain English. This this is just ridiculous. So, you know, 9-11, man, that's, that's, I just had to share that with you. Because I did. <laughs> anyway, peace and grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 